So this year with FIFA 9, what we wanted to do was emphasise what football is all about. So whilst we were really conscious of delivering a fantastic gameplay experience, this year we've actually put in over 250 key additions to the game uh, and improvements in gameplay that our fans wanted. We have kind of three major focuses. One, on intelligence, making sure that the positioning and the goalkeeping is better. One of the big areas we've, we've focused on there is the goalkeeper. It's, it's a difficult position the goalkeeper because if he does one bad mistake, one bad piece of AI, it could ruin a whole match. Last year he was a bit stupid sometimes, but also a bit superhuman other times, so Aaron and uh, one of our engineers have been working hard on humanising the goalkeeper. Well, what we try to do is not just simply give the goalkeeper a coverage and say, OK, he can get this far, so he couldn't get that ball in the top corner. What we wanted to do is find out the reasons why you can get into the top corner. The idea basically being trying to mimic the fact that in real life the goalkeeper has to read the ball trajectory. So we talk about intelligence in the goalkeeper, now he's thinking on that level, trying to figure out what's the best thing for him to do, what's the best action he should take based on the scenario. We put a lot of work into that this year and I think it's we've got some really cool results and um, a lot of animation improvement. And I guess... Uh, yeah, the miss saves um, in the... In the was that where you going to go there? No, but I wasn't, but go ahead. <laughs> so, that, so you've got like, the goalkeeper knows the ball's going wide, he'll just he'll just watch it go wide. I think we have um, reactions for when he gets scored on as well, so he's lying on the ground and he's, and he's stumping the ground and he's disappointed and things like that. It really brings him to life. This year we have a new technology with our goalkeeper, what we call a dive at feet. So he'll be coming out and he'll get to the right distance and then maybe the attacker changes direction. He can actually change the animation and, and blend into a new animation and kick out a leg to try and save it. We also wanted to make sure there's more realistic physical actions and attributes to the players. We came up with ideas of, of things like speed and strength playing a huge effect. We took all those things that we wanted to achieve and built a new system. I think one of the things to get from it is that it's in no way scripted. It just takes all these contexts, it takes the attributes, it takes the distance. And it really results in, a, in an organic feeling jostle and it feels good. Some players in their database have, have been assigned a diver trait to say that they do fall over quite easily. <laughs> Again, on collisions, we have this new in-ear joss system. When you're battling for an in-ear ball, you can fight with the other guy, and there'll be new animations for pushing them off, and we've worked hard on putting in things like, well, we'll put lots more animations in to deal with the context of where you've hit the player. I remember the first time I saw it on screen, I was dribbling down it, and somebody, I don't remember who I was playing, but came in and wiped me out with a slide tackle, and he it was on one foot, and he took my standing foot, and the guy just went legs up in the air. I, I replayed it about. 35 times calling, Gary, come look at this. <laughs> and we're just going back and forth, just rewinding this one collision over. And it really feels really cool when you get it right. And um, I'm pretty happy with what we've done this year. So. Yeah, it's, it's pretty spectacular. One of the things that can't be explained by either of us really is how it feels. And I think that's the huge thing for me. We picked up the game and it just felt right. Another cool feature that we put in this year is panic defense. What it is, is, is that, that notion for a defender that, you know, that ball's just out of reach. You really got to do anything you can to try and get a body part on him. It really comes alive when you see the new header animations we put in with players sort of ducking around one another, just trying to get a touch on the ball, and, and it shows the effort of the defense in, in their own 18. And, and, you know, when you see all the, the, the variety in the different header animations we have this year, it's quite amazing. There's one more thing, the shielding, I think, that we've put in new this year. And we now, we've changed the system. Before, it used to be like when you, sh when you would shield the ball, you would, you would move yourself around the ball to try and protect it from the from the, the the defenders, but now we actually move the ball like it's more realistic. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like that attacker has a sense of okay, this guy's on my back. Oh, I can feel him moving. I just need to move the ball here to adjust it. Just a little bit more intelligence for the attacker in the shielding system too. But some of the behaviors from the new trap in is is really nice, really fluid. Basically, a feature we call we call it position to trap, but it's it's not really. It's a garbage name. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, what it what it is is as the ball's coming and he's trapping it. If you want to say if you want to trap it 180 behind you. The, guy, the player might start moving in that direction so that when he does trap it, it's a more fluid trap. It's not run, stop, trap the ball, run again. It's he's running in the direction you're trapping, you want to trap it in the whole time. The second piece to that, I guess, is um, if you can imagine swinging the ball around your defense so your fullback has it and he's playing it inside to the center back. In last year's system, the center back would have had to face that, that player to receive that pass. That center back now has the intelligence to read what you want to do from your pad angle and figure out, okay, he's going out the next way, I need to open up my body, and he actually takes the ball in from the side, which is an easier trap or an easier first time pass out the other side, which makes the game flow a little bit better. We really want to make sure that the game's delivering the most responsive and attractive control system that you can get. So the dribbling, the passing, and the shooting have all been improved to make sure when you want it to happen, it really does. One of the things we've done this year is we've added 
more coverage. So we've added stretch passes and slide passes. So when that situation comes along where maybe um, a player is a little bit farther away from the ball and you request a pass, previous iterations we wouldn't have had an answer for you. Now we have that. Your player will actually slide out and show that effort and get to make that extra step. One of the things that is really pleasing for me is we just have so much animation variety this year compared to other years, like headers, passing there, shooting. There's just so much there and some of them are really, really nice. I mean, obviously we've had uh, motion capture events with some really top football stars. So that's system where we can add these fancy passes and some really spectacular moves and not just spectacular but authentic. You can look at that and you can say that's football. So I'm an, I'm an Aberdeen fan in Scotland and they're not doing quite so well at the moment. I think they finished fourth last season, a couple of semi-finals. We did well in the UEFA Cup but uh, yeah, I'm an Aberdeen fan for three seconds then. I'm Arsenal. Through and through. Yeah, Arsenal. <laughs> no. He's a Jamaican who supports Arsenal. It's like, I have no respect well, for him whatsoever. When I was young, I, I went I went on a trip to, to England to play a tournament and uh, I got to go see a charity Shields Arsenal versus Manchester United and, I, and Ian Wright scored a scissor kick in that match and from that day forward it was done. I watched all the matches and I fell in love. So I've been an Arsenal supporter since, despite what Gary likes to tell you, I've been an Arsenal supporter since day one. <laughs>